I will show you some more of my favorite inventions. This is my final invention video. These are more inventions in planes from World War II. This is the Germans. This is the Heinko, this is the Heinko H-162, also known as the Volksjager. This was designed to be the people's fighter. Dozens of these were built, and one of these managed to shoot down an Allied plane. World War II ended two days later. This plane could have changed the war. I really like this one, but there's an even better version of this. This is the most exotic version of the Volkswagen. A butterfly design with forward swept wings. This is my favorite version of the Volkswagen. The engine is mounted on its back. There was also a design for two engines on its back. This is one of my favorites. This is the Hanko HS-132, a special super bomber. Again, the engine is mounted on its back. It could carry a 1,000 pound bomb. I really also like this one. The pilot is not actually seated as a regular person would, but he's actually lying on his belly, facing the front with his head and his legs stretched on the back. This was never built. Actually, one, one or two or three of these were built. But their fate is still unknown. This is my favorite one. This is the Focke Wolf TA-183, also known as Hunchback. Designed by Kurt Tank. This one was the best one I've, in my opinion. This is, this is the first fighting plane ever mounted with rockets and missiles. If the war had lasted into 1946, things would have been very different. This plane was too fast and too powerful and could have defeated the attacking forces, giving Germany enough time to recover and maybe even win the war. This is my favorite experimental plane from World War II. It was never officially built. This one was a game changer. It could have changed everything. I know it. This is the Werkstahl X-4 missile, the first rocket or missile ever developed in history, by the Germans of course. 
It was never built or never used. This is the rocket, the missile that would have been mounted on the on the hunchback flying plane, which I just previously mentioned. This is what the, the rocket would have looked like. This rocket could reach speeds over 700 miles per hour. Nobody would have escaped it. And last we, we have this. The Horton Flying Wing. The first ever invis radar invisible aircraft. With giant wings. The first invisible aircraft with flat giant razor wings. This is the first stealth technology aircraft. I'm not a fan of stealth technology. I prefer the buzzing sounds that cause terror and panic. I'm not a fan of stealth. This was designed by the Horton brothers. This plane was capable of reaching New York and back without refueling, without refueling. It also could have changed the war. Only one of these were built, I believe. 